All right, so this is our Raspberry Pi case that I just printed off. Now this does have some pretty bad stringing in places, um, especially like this, but what I think I can do is go ahead and take a heat gun, blast it a little bit, and it should melt all those little uh, strings away. Yeah, but anyway, this printed in two pieces. This will just kind of slide into the pie and hold everything in place. Kind of a neat little design. It doesn't require any screws or anything like that. You might be able to see down in there some more of the stringing as well. Anyway, I'll put the Thingiverse link in the description. I'll go ahead and try to clean this print up a little bit, and then we'll try to put the pie in it. All right, so I kind of hit it just a little bit too hard with a heat gun maybe and warped the back just a little bit. Uh, I think it'll still work fine. Uh, but other than that, the print quality is fairly decent. It's got a little bit of cracking, which I just can't seem to uh, overcome with my printer. No matter the setting of extrusion multiplier and temperature, I just can't seem to get past that. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is actually it uses like 18 meters worth of plastic, 18 or 20. So it actually comes out to be a pretty solid feeling part, and it actually is a mostly solid part. Uh, minus some of the larger areas get some infill, but it's mostly solid. So we'll go ahead and put this in here, see what we end up with. Just like that. And this piece should go down like this, and it should just kind of go underneath everything. And that's it, that is the Raspberry Pi case, so you still have access to the GPIO, uh, of course the USB ports and the Ethernet port. Uh, that's not lined up quite perfectly, is it? It needs to go back in there just a little bit further. There we go. And then there's the HDMI, USB, and the uh, AV output jack lined up properly, and everything pushed in right. So anyway, I have actually used this case before. I printed out uh, one of the earlier versions of it, and I didn't do it with the uh, GPIO open like this because this project requires a GPIO. Anyway, I like this case mostly because it doesn't take any hardware to put it together. It all just kind of slides into place. So uh, anyway, this is going to go to good use, and that's about it for now, guys. Bye.